Namaste, Sitaram. A pleasant good morning. Welcome to Rudraya. I am your host, Nisha Sharma, and Rudraya is being brought to you with the kind compliments of Maha Rujadev Mandir. Please remember that the Mandir is located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 48 in Scarborough, with McNichol and Tapscott being our nearest intersection. So today on Rudraya, we are very excited as tomorrow is our women's conference. So that is tomorrow at the Mandir, June 28, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Again, it's a free conference and we are excited to see all of you out there tomorrow to join with us as we celebrate success. Without further ado, we will join our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, for a religious message. Enjoy. As we do mantra chanting, as we do invocation mantra towards the various manifestations of the dear Lord. Om Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha Gajananam Bhuta Ganadi Sevitam Gajananam Bhuta Ganadi Sevitam Kapita Jambu Halacharu Bhakshanam Kapita Jambu Halacharu Bhakshanam Umasutam Jogdina Chakarakam Umasutam Jogdina Chakarakam Namami Vigneshwara Pada Pankajam Namami Vigneshwara Pada Pankajam Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha The Lord Shiva, the symbol of all truth, we worship this Lord Bhagavan, the cosmic dancer, the Lord of all beings. Om Namah Shiva Hari Om Namah Shiva सत्य ही शिव है शिव ही सुंदर है सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय So Chatur Vidyam Bhajantima, it is said of the Lord Bhagavan Krishna himself. He comes and indicates uh, in Bhagavad Gita that he indicates that there are different classifications self of devotees. Uh. But one who himself who comes and cherishes in their heart uh, the cravings of self for one or more enjoyments this world and the next, uh, they attain it uh, through mind grace. Uh, I will not deny them. I will not stop and say that no. They will not uh, attain it. Uh, but I give equally to everyone, and none can ever say that I do not practice what we call a samadarshi or equanimity itself in life. Uh, meaning that the Lord Himself looks at each and every one of you, including myself, uh, with the same equal vision. He has given us the same equal opportunities uh, themselves. Uh, but it's for us to grasp them. 
And don't tarry, don't fear if you feel that the time itself comes where, as we indicate, I told a devotee this morning, sometime when it rains, it pours, and it pours, and it pours, and pours. And when will I see mine gold at the end of the rainbow, so to speak? Does it really exist at the right time? The Lord himself indicates. But the devotee itself who comes and dedicates their life itself to me. Uh, scriptures themselves speaks about all different types of devotees. We can read the life of Sugriva. We can read the life of Bhakta Bibisham from Brahmayana. They are all as those itself who falls within the classification Artarti, meaning that they were living in self and fear. And so they wanted a divine aid itself. But one of the best uh, or the foremost amongst classification of this devotee is Bhakta Dhruva. Bhakta Dhruva, you might have heard, uh, was a young boy itself. Uh, but he himself, uh, for the simple, simple things that were supposed to be given to him, such as milk and so forth, he himself was denied. And so he was told also by his own mother that how will he attain this? Uh, she said that you will go and you will make friends itself with such individual, Krishna. You will make friendship with this individual. And this young child itself who did not know who Krishna himself was, uh, when calling, hey Krishna, where is my friend Krishna who will give me this? Uh, and so this young boy, not more than six years as he's wandering itself, uh, the Lord himself plants and he comes and he puts forth individuals in our life. Uh, and so he puts forth Srila Naraji. Naraji comes and he instructs this young boy about this Varakshara Mantra. Devotees, it is said that he chanted it with austerity. He chanted it with full reverence. He chanted it with full faith itself in God. The Dwarakshara Mantra is a very, it's called as a 12 syllable mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. It is no complex mantra. It is no long, long prayer that we can write from one end to the next end and can fill up a book. Devotees, when we are told that you will succeed or you have the blessing itself of God, I assure you, you will attain it. Have you heard about an individual self? 39 times itself he went up for a job interview. And 39 times itself he was told, no, you're not going to get it. The 40th time itself it showed up, he went back and everyone started to say, what a fool. 39 times itself you went, you wasting your time. The 40th time he got it. When his friends asked him, he said, you didn't feel bad? He said, no, all I just learned, what to not to do in the 30th, 39 times. So in the 40th time I didn't do that and that's how I got it. Such is what we call as positive thinking. So that is what we call a spiritual reinforcement, so to speak. So Dhruva himself, when he was even dissuaded himself, he was dissuaded that no, that is the most difficult thing to do. Even by Srila Naraji, he said that no, I have been told that my friend will help me. And if you will not come and help me and you will not be a friend and help me to meet my friend Krishna, then get away. I choose not to associate with you. The choice itself is always yours. Let us join Dhruva very briefly in his chanting. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya himself began to meditate upon God himself. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. And do you not believe that the Lord himself did not manifest? Bhagavatam tells us, Sasanka Chakram Sakirita Kundalam. It is said that he came and he manifested with his forearm form himself in front of Dhruva. 
And he said, that, do not worry. Do not worry itself. I will be there. So such a devotee itself who wanting something, they attain it through God's grace. There is a devotee itself who is improvised. There is a devotee itself who is distressed after losing perhaps all wealth. They have lost their home. Perhaps they have lost so much things itself in life. And so the desire and the beg of God itself to help us reinstate it. And our scripture speaks about Gajendra. Gajendra itself was an elephant. Pratna sunolo hamad prabhu. He began when the king of elephants itself was there performing his prayer. It is said that his feet itself became, that the alligator one graha came and started biting the feet and started pulling this elephant and was unable to get away. And so it is said that this elephant began to cry out and call upon the dear Lord God. And as he began to cry out itself upon the dear Lord God, the Lord did manifest. But the best among devotees itself of this class, you must have heard about Draupadi. Binakaja Anja Maharaja Laja Gaimeri Dukaharu Dwarika Lancharana Mehiteri. Meaning that Lord, will you allow your devotee itself, Binakaja Aja Maharaja, to go through such exploitations itself in life? When she herself was being disrobed herself in by Dushasan, even though she came and she pulled and she pulled and she Dushasan himself was pulling upon the sari, trying to ridicule her, trying to make a mockery of her in front of all. What did she do? Bhagavatam tells, tells us in this verse. Jai Radhe Krishna, Jai Radhe Krishna, Jai Radhe Krishna, Jai Radhe Krishna. The Physio Clinic West Durham is where you will find experienced doctors and therapists serving the Durham region for over 10 years. Our friendly and highly trained treatment team diagnose and treat a wide variety of injuries and pain. We will manage your care with your family doctor and specialists and bill directly to your insurance company. We are conveniently located at 1031 Brock Road in Pickering. Flexible appointment hours are available. Please call us at 905-428-1266 to book an appointment. Planning to take a trip down memory lane to a laid-back spot serving popular West Indian dishes? Then visit Drupati's Doubles Roti Inc. Now under new management by the Sami family. Drupati's is conveniently located at 252 Bailey Street West in Ajax. Serving a wide variety of West Indian dishes and catering to all your celebration needs including pujas and weddings. Drupati's offers sumptuous buffet breakfast that will remind you of back home days. Special occasion or make one of your dreams come true? Then visit La Roya Banquet Hall, conveniently located just off the 401 East at 185 Wesley Road South in Ajax. Elegantly appointed in creams and golds, the facility now caters to every nationality. To reserve your special occasion, Call now at 905-426-7692 or visit LaRoya's website at www.laroya.ca. Sitaram, welcome back to Rudraya. My name is Ashti Prashodam. I would like to introduce you to Shala. 
We will now join her for an interview with one of our guest speakers for the Women's Conference. Sita Ram, welcome to Rudraya. My name is Shala, and today I have Srimati Nisha Sharma, that is one of our guest speakers from our Women's Conference. As many of you know, Nisha Sharma is a certified professional accountant, as well as a certified general accountant. She also has her master's in business administration and is the president of Maharuja Dev Mandir. So Nisha, we have some questions for our viewers today I'm hoping that you can address for us. So our first question is, can you tell us a little bit about what the Panch Kanyas are and what that word means? Okay, so I'm glad you asked me that question because I know I've been actually getting quite a bit of, um, you know, questions regarding why we've actually named it Panj Kanya. So Panj, as many of you know, means five. And the literal meaning of the word Kanya is young, unmarried, untouched girl. However, the deeper meaning denotes purity of the mind, an ideal female. So this is the notion we want to capture by using the term Kanya to describe these ideal women. Despite life experiences, they remain pure at heart and mind. So that is why the Panch Kanya is used to describe them. So do you find that you relate to any of these Panch Kanyas? Well, when I reflect on the life of Sita Devi, I see many similarities in my own life experiences, such as continuously being judged by society and having to continuously prove myself. You know, I've never asked for compassion or understanding from anyone, just like Sita Devi, never asked for compassion from Rawan, Ram, Lakshman, or society on the whole. However, she allowed her actions to speak for themselves. So I definitely see her character fitting into my life experiences. So why do you believe it's important for us to recognize this part of history in Hinduism? Recognizing this part of history is of paramount importance as it shows how these women, even though they lived in a patriarchal society, had their own identities. They were willing to challenge the status quo. They were strong-willed and determined qualities that we all have within us. We just need to unleash them. Lastly, what do you hope to achieve by hosting this event? We hope to broaden everyone's perspective with respect to the life of an Indian woman so that we can all have an appreciation for the life of our sisters and mothers. We hope to enlighten others of how important it is to never judge others by their outer self, but to look within at the merits of the individual before forming an opinion. Thank you, Srimati Nisha Sharma. We look forward to hearing you as well as the other speakers at the event at the Women's Conference. Welcome back to Rudraya. My dear viewers, we will now join our own Dr. Sachin Ramkisun for our health segment. Sita Ram and welcome to Health Corner. My name is Dr. Sachin Ramkisun, and on today's episode, we will be continuing our talk on strategies to reduce stress in our daily lives. Last week, we spoke about the first two strategies, avoiding unnecessary stress, followed by changing the situation so it is not stressful in the future. The third strategy is to adapt to the stressful situation. If you cannot change the stressor, you may be able to change your attitude and your expectations reframe problems to view stressful situations from a more positive perspective. For instance, being stuck in traffic can instead be viewed as an opportunity for some alone time to enjoy music. Look at the big picture so that you can add perspective on a stressful situation. Will this situation matter in a month or a year from now? Adjust your standards if you have to. Perfectionism is often unattainable and instead a major source of stress. Set reasonable standards for yourself and others that you can be happy with. Lastly, during stressful times, try to focus on the positive things in life. This helps you keep things in perspective and reduce your stress level. The fourth strategy is to accept the things that you cannot change. Some stressful situations are unavoidable in life, such as work pressure, illness, or loss of a loved one. In these cases, the best way to cope under stress is to accept things as they are. Avoid trying to control things that are out of your control. Instead, try to focus on things that you can change, 
such as the way that you react to problems. Learning to forgive allows many of us to accept the fact that we are all imperfect and that people do make mistakes. Letting go of anger and resentment allows you to reduce your stress levels. Share your feelings, whether it is with a friend, a family member, member or a therapist. Opening up is not a sign of weakness. The simple act of expressing what you are going through can be very therapeutic. The fifth strategy is to make time for fun and relaxation. Even if you cannot eliminate stress altogether, make, making time for yourself can often help you regroup to face the next challenge. Set personal time aside to relax and focus your mind. This can be through meditation, chanting, singing, or attending the temple. Taking a break from all responsibilities allows you to recharge your batteries. Going for a walk, chatting with a good friend, writing in a journal, taking a long bath, working in the garden, or reading a good book can all reduce your stress level. The important point is to make time to do something you enjoy every day, such that it becomes part of your daily routine. The sixth and last strategy is to adopt a healthy lifestyle. Many studies have already shown that you can reduce your overall stress levels by improving your physical health. Regular exercise plays a key role in reducing and preventing the physical and mental effects of controlling stress. 30 minutes of exercise at least three times a week does wonders for stress levels. Eat a healthy diet filled with fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grain. Reduce your caffeine and sugar intake. The highs from caffeine and sugar often end with a crash in mood and energy, making you more irritable and stressed out. Avoid alcohol and cigarettes, which is an unhealthy coping mechanism. Lastly, get enough sleep to relax your mind and body. These six strategies are a guide to help us reduce the amount of uncontrolled stress we experience in our daily lives. Stress is unavoidable, but hopefully this talk gives you some ideas to reduce our stress levels and live a more enjoyable and healthier life. Thank you for joining me on Health Corner, and I look forward to speaking with you next week on Rudraya. The Physio Clinic West Durham is where you will find experienced doctors and therapists serving the Durham region for over 10 years. Our friendly and highly trained treatment team diagnose and treat a wide variety of injuries and pain. We will manage your care with your family doctor and specialists and bill directly to your insurance company. We are conveniently located at 1031 Brock Road in Pickering. Flexible appointment hours are available. Please call us at 905-428-1266 to book an appointment. Planning to take a trip down memory lane to a laid-back spot serving popular West Indian dishes? Then visit Jupiter's Doubles Roti Inc. Now under new management by the Sami family. Jupiter's is conveniently located at 252 Bailey Street West in Ajax. Serving a wide variety of West Indian dishes and catering to all your celebration needs including pujas and weddings. Jupiter's offers sumptuous buffet breakfasts that will remind you of back home days. Special occasion or make one of your dreams come true? Then visit La Roya Banquet Hall, conveniently located just off the 401 East at 185 Wesley Road South in Ajax. Elegantly appointed in creams and golds, the facility now caters to every nationality. To reserve your special occasion, call now at 905 426 7692 or visit LaRoya's website at www.laroya.ca. My dear viewers, please remember our women's conference tomorrow, June 28th, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. at Maha Rujadev Mandir. Now, the conference will be featuring women of our culture who have migrated to Canada and who have gone through numerous amount of trials and tribulations and have actually made a name for themselves while taking care of their families and maintaining their culture. We will be reflecting our own life experiences based on the panch kanyas of the 
Holi, Ramayan, and Mahabharat. So it's going to be an amazing event. My dear viewers, we've come to the end of Rudraya. I hope you've enjoyed today's program. And again, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at our women's conference from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. at Maha Rudradev Mandir. It's a free conference. And of course, we've been hearing from the men, you know, if they are invited, and certainly they are. So please bring the children, bring your husbands, and of course, the women to come join us as we celebrate a woman's success. We'd like to end by thanking our kind sponsors at Maharuja Dev Mandir, as well as our executive producer, Gari Khan. So our tip for this week is, Dear God, please grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference between the things that we can change and the things that we cannot change. So that is your tip for the week. It's a powerful tip, so please remember that. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And for those of you who cannot make it tomorrow, we will see you again next week right here on Rudraya. Have a blessed week. Namaste. Mm -hmm.